as of 1940, 87% of black households were in poverty. Over the next 20 years, that declined to 47%. This is all prior to the civil rights laws, prior to the social welfare policies of the Johnson administration. Well, you know, when, when, when they talk about things like this, they talk about the legacy of slavery. And I argue, well, empirically, it's not that, it's the legacy of the welfare state. Because as of 1960, which is almost 100 years after slavery has ended, uh, the majority of black kids were being raised in two-parent households. But within one generation after the welfare state, that had dropped down to a minority. So that the majority of black kids today are raised in one-parent households. When you think about it, I mean, uh, centuries of slavery and generations of Jim Crow did not destroy the black family, but one, one generation of the welfare state did. Everything is given to you by the government. That's not your dream. That's what they want for you. I mean, that's what we've been taught to do. We don't, we're not taught to go out and get our own. We're taught to live in a welfare state. You depend on the government to handle the system. That's, that's what we work for now. We, we work for the government to say, good boy, and give us something. That's what socialism is. We're at the bottom, the needs are at the top, and they're handing us everything. Everybody's equal, yeah. Everybody's equally poor. Right now, we have a very divided nation. We're going to bring our nation together. I'm running for Trump because I want jobs, not welfare. I don't want to be a slave anymore. Freedom of any kind means no one should be judged by their race or their color and the color of their skin. I don't want hell. I want freedom. I want actual freedom. This campaign is history making. Detractors try to say that Donald Trump is a divider. I beg to differ with him. Donald Trump is a unifier. He tells you what you need to hear, not what you want to hear. We got a negotiator and a job creator right here. Who better can help us help ourselves than Donald Trump? He's a builder, a developer, a negotiator without equal with the hand of God on his life. Because only God could take a black guy from the inner city streets of Cleveland and connect him with a white billionaire from upstate New York to try to do what we can do to make this country great again. We are one people, one voice. We are tired of being divided. We're tired of being separated. We will work together to rebuild and restore and lift up everyone. He's going to make America great again, regardless of the color of your skin. We are the people of the United States of America. Donald Trump is fighting for us. He's fighting for you. He's fighting for me. I will do more for the African-American people than Barack Obama has ever done. I'll do more in one year. And the media fears Donald Trump. The media will never persuade us to turn our backs on Donald Trump, ever, never. There's a scripture in the Bible that says, I sought for a man to make up the hedge and to stand in the gap for my land. Donald Trump is that man. God has raised him up for such a time as this. There's a gap that exists between the people of America and Washington, and we're going to stand in the gap. We're going to make up the hedge with Donald Trump and restore our nation. Come on, say amen to me, somebody. We are going to make America great again, and great again for everyone, everyone.